This is where the archers live. The Franklins live right next door. Neighbors couldn't be any closer. And no friendship could be closer than the friendship between the archers and the Franklins. They know each other so well that each of them knows what the others are going to do before the others know it themselves. Take Corliss Archer and Dexter Franklin. <laughs> or take Mrs. Archer and Mrs. Franklin. Janet, may I borrow a cup of flour? <laughs> or take Mr. Archer and Mr. Franklin. Here you are. like that three bullseyes in a row. Janet, I tell you, everything is right tonight. My arm has the right spring. My wrist is limber. I'm going to beat Bill tonight. I... What were you saying about Bill? Oh, I was saying that everything's right for our dart game tonight. My wrist, my arm. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> Make sure Dexter's comfortable. By comfort, I gather you mean horizontal. <laughs> What'd you say, Daddy? I said Dexter's idea of comfort seems to be. What were you saying about Bill? Now, let me see. Oh, yes, I. <laughs> Daddy? Hmm? What'd you say about Dexter? Well, I said that. <laughs> And that's what I said. Maybe you're right. I'm glad we agree. Now, what were you saying about Bill? Well, I... I said the astrospectroscopes and the globular gamma rays should be ready for harvesting much earlier this year. How now, brown cow? Go on, dear. Oh, dear, I was so busy getting everything ready for the Franklins, I wasn't listening. I understand. Now, what were you saying about Bill? Well... <laughs> Boy, am I gonna murder Bill tonight. Daddy, smell. Wow. It's passionate passion. I bought it myself. Isn't it heavenly? Well, it's a little strong, isn't it? Boy, I'll say. I had to tell the sales girl I was 18 before she'd even sell it to me. Is that book? Yes. You should see what it says on the bottle. It says it'll turn a man into a raging lion, a tiger, a caveman. Young lady, you march right back upstairs and dilute it. After all, Dexter is only a beginner. Dexter. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. So disappointed. About what? Well, the Franklins aren't coming over tonight. Mary's mother isn't feeling well, and they're going to see her. I knew it. I knew it. My arm and wrist will never be in this condition again. Golly, after all the trouble I took. Oh, dear, and I promised Mary I'd shorten the hem on her dress. And she does so love my chocolate cake. It would have been the greatest defeat of the century. Darts is a pretty dangerous game, the way Mr. Archer plays it. Somebody is supposed to skim the dart into the circle, not circle the dart into somebody's skin. <laughs> Say, 
I didn't know you were such a good dart player, Mr. Wilson. You're almost as good as Harry Archer. Oh, I was lucky, Mr. Franklin. My wrist just seems to be limber tonight. Mrs. Wilson, this cake is light as a feather. I don't know how you do it. Well, I'll tell you, Mrs. Franklin. It was my mother's secret recipe for years. Page eight in the cookbook. <laughs> my mother had a secret recipe for good food, too. Go to a restaurant. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet of you to go to all that trouble with my dress. No trouble at all. I'm glad to do it. Smell, Dexter. My new perfume. Passionate passion. Smells great. Makes a man wish he had a third nostril. Supposed <laughs> to make a man act like a wild tiger, a raging lion, a maddened caveman. <laughs> oh, Dexter, you do the cutest thing. Corliss is awful lucky to have a boy as cute as you. Well, it's a free country and you're entitled to your own opinion. And I'm entitled to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Pop. Yes, son. Hey, you got everything ready for Mr. Archer's surprise party Saturday night? Oh, your mother and Mrs. Wilson are arranging the details. We're bringing all the food over here Saturday morning. If Janet saw it at our house, she might suspect something. Well, it's a good idea. You know, I think when you throw a party for a friend just because you think he's a great guy, that's a pretty special occasion. I agree with you, Mr. Franklin. And I'm awfully glad you counted me in. Well, when you've known Harry Archer as long as I have, you'll appreciate him just about as much as I do. Oh, this cake is so good. Do you mind if I cut another piece? Of course not. Help yourself. Come in. The door's open. Hello, Wilson. We saw... Mary. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Dexter. Harry. Harry. Uh, Harry, you see, uh, uh, Harry, you see, uh, you see, uh, uh, say something, Mary. Can, 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 uh, can, uh, say something, Dexter. Help. We the picture and we thought maybe the Wilsons would join us. But I see other plans have been made. We'll visit another night. Come along, Harry. Yes, dear. Come call us. <laughs> They'll never talk to us again. I didn't know what to say. It was such an embarrassing situation. I, I don't think the archers are going to go to the movies after all. If Mr. Archer just had a flat tire. <laughs> Mr. Archer is sure not going to drive to the movies. That tire is tired, and it's about time the entire tire was retired. You can wait in here. Thank you very much. Just sit down and make yourself comfortable. You're very, very kind. My mother will be down in a few minutes. Thank you. but you're polite. Oh, company training. I'm with the Biltwell Home Products Company, ma'am. This is my second day in service. And how are you doing? Well, I'm a little worried about this neighborhood. Why? Well, last night I was almost killed. Someone shot a dart at me. <laughs> it went right through my order book. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Paulus, you gotta give me a chance to explain. I... <laughs> hey, what's he doing here? Corliss, what's he doing here? Who is he? Corliss, I demand an answer. Please. Corliss, who is he? I think I'd better go. He's staying right here. Promise me, like this. Hey, now, wait a minute. Cut that out. It took me two years before I could do that, and then I had to get her mother's permission. I think I'm going to be sick. Now, listen, you. This is my girl, see? And you just better get out of here. Gladly, sir. My guest can be staying. I just knew this neighborhood was too rowdy. 
Corliss, how could you do this to me? How could you get a new boyfriend without even giving me a chance to explain? Oh, this is becoming boring. Come, Bertrand, let's dance. How'd you know my name was Bertrand? Woman's intuition. <laughs> Corliss, you, you, you just got to give me a chance to explain. You see, all we were... You know, Corliss. Corliss, now, now listen to me. You see, the only reason we wrote there at all was... I, honey, sweetie, please, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Corliss, you got to listen to me. You, you got it. The only reason we wrote at the Wilsons at all it was just to plan a surprise party for your father. A surprise party? Yeah, a surprise party. Huh. Golly, Dex, after the way I act. Oh, well, well, don't feel bad. It must have looked pretty bad sitting on the couch with Betty and all that. I think I'll go now, if you don't mind. Dex, I'm so ashamed of myself. I made such a scene. Oh, it's all right, Corliss. I don't mind fighting. It's just like being married. <laughs> Tell your mother I don't think I'll be back. Oh, Dex, you're so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm going to quit my job. If I can get up enough courage to turn in my sample case. <laughs> You won't tell a soul what you heard here, will you? Oh, no. Cross my heart. It would ruin everything. Nobody would believe me anyway. <laughs> Goodbye. Please. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, you, you forgot your... Uh, yes. I forgot my... <laughs> Dexter would make a better salesman than that poor boy. He's got gumption and get up and go. But it looks like that timid boy's gumption got up and went. Hi, Ma. Hello, dear. What you doing? Oh, I thought I'd make a cake for your father. My cheery mop. Poor dear, he's been so upset about the other night. <laughs> did it upset you? Well, a little, but not the way it did him. <laughs> Mom, you sure it didn't bother you? Well, if Mrs. Franklin prefers Mrs. Wilson's company to mine, I'm just not going to let it bother me. What kind of a cake are you baking? Oh, the usual one. Oh, dear. I just don't understand Mary Franklin. We've been so close for so many years. I just don't understand how she could do this to me. Why, it's unforgivable. Oh, Mom, don't feel badly. Maybe Mrs. Franklin had a good reason. Well, the reason was obvious. After all these years. Oh, Mom. Mr. Franklin. Well, they were planning a surprise party for Daddy. A surprise? It's going to be tonight. Tonight? Well, tonight isn't your father's birthday. They know that. But Mr. Franklin wants to show Daddy how much he thinks of him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. After the way I acted, Mary will never forgive me. Oh, she'll understand. Oh, I hope so. See, they're not such bad friends after all, are they? Oh, they're the best, the most wonderful, the sweetest, the nicest. Oh, I know how you feel. Oh, God. I've never been so happy. Goodbye. <laughs> with the potatoes, just the way you like them, dear. Thank you, Janet. I'm not very hungry. Where's Carlos? She ate early. Looks delicious. Harry, aren't you feeling well? I feel perfectly well. Just don't seem to have much appetite. So I'll sit here while you eat. Harry, are you acting this way because of what happened with Bill the other night? Bill Franklin has nothing to do with the way I feel. I wasn't thinking of Bill last night when I couldn't sleep. I wasn't thinking of Bill this morning when I couldn't eat breakfast. And I'm not thinking of Bill now. So let's forget about Bill. And if you'll excuse me, I'll go in the living room and read the bill paper. <laughs> Harry, the only reason Bill canceled the date was to plan a surprise party for you tonight. Janet, please, I've asked you not to mention his <laughs> surprise party for me. <laughs> Why, 
the old bull moose. Oh, dear, I shouldn't have told you. Now the surprise is ruined. Oh, I won't let on that I know. I'll pretend I'm still angry. <laughs> the old bull moose. Oh, Janet, does this food look good? And have I got an appetite after a hard day at the office? <laughs> that old bull moose. Now, you be sure that you don't let on that you know. Oh, ruin Bill's fun. He's my best friend. I wouldn't do a thing like that. I assure you, he'll never know that I know. I'll get it, dear. <laughs> Why, that old Bill Moose. <laughs> now, Bill is. There's someone here to see you, dear. Someone? Yes, dear. Someone. <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello, Harry. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, Mr. Wilson and I thought we'd come over and play a game of darts with you. We thought it would be pleasant to have a little game. Yes, uh, we brought our own darts. You can use the sharp ones. Trying to get me to use fixed darts. <laughs> oh, no, no, Harry. We just uh, wanted to make it easier on you. All the darts are very sharp. Oh, I see. You want to mark up my wall. <laughs> have a very pleasant game. Then I suggest that you two gentlemen go to your house and have a very pleasant game together. Okay, Harry. If that's the way you feel about it. Come on, Mr. Wilson. Oh, all we wanted was a pleasant game. Oh, he'll be back for his dart. <laughs> oh, that poor foot. It was just standing there, minding its own business. Now it's got a sick toe, and the doctor's got a problem. How do you heal a toe? <laughs> This cake sure looks good. Oh, wait for the party. Come in. How do you do? I represent the Biltwell Home. Haven't I met you someplace before? I don't think so. Well, you look so familiar to me. Say, you know, you look kind of familiar to me, too. Did you ever faint at a wrestling match? <laughs> oh, no. I never go to wrestling matches. My grandfather doesn't like me to see him in tight. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we don't know each other then. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. You see, I had a dreadful experience a couple of days ago, and, well, I get overshocked very slowly. Oh, you poor dear boy. Well, I represent the Biltwell Home Products Company, and I was... Maybe I better wait and see your parents. Our parents? How dare you? Huh? But, but, but I, I, I thought... For your information, I am Mrs. Dexter Franklin. And this is Mr. Dexter Franklin, my husband. <laughs> Holy cow! Right? Yeah. And I'll have you know, we are very, very happy. Yeah. Right, dear? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Um... No. Oh! Oh, no. No, no! Uh... So? Uh, Corliss, believe me, whatever you saw is not really what you saw whenever you saw what you saw when you saw it. <laughs> I wish I was a mirage. You bigamous you. So, the minute my back is turned, you carry on in front of it. Oh, Corliss, this is all a joke. Really, there's nothing between us. Well, if there had have been, it would have been crushed to death by now. You must be what they call a cat. Gee, I've never seen one before. <laughs> now, you stay out of this. Uh, Corliss, please, it's all a mistake. I should say it was. And I never want to see you again as long as we both shall live. Oh. Corliss, by then it might be too late to make up. <laughs> Please, you are the only girl I love. It's about time you made up your mind. How oh, you keep out of this? I'm leaving, so there. I'm leaving, too. And as for you, Betty Jane Wilson, I think you are just awful. And as for you, Dexter Franklin, I never want to see you again as long as I live. I never want to see anybody again. <laughs> Corliss! Corliss, come back! Corliss, you came back. I remember where I saw you before. I sure hope I can make up with her at the party. 
Party? After the way Archer acted, we're not throwing any party for him. I should say not. Throw a party for him? I wouldn't throw water on him if he was on fire. <laughs> Oh, my. Looks like the end of a long, long friendship. What a pity. Those two have been friends since the old, old days, when you could tell the difference between a boy and a girl by the fact that the girl was the one who didn't wear slacks. <laughs> they ought to be sneaking over here pretty soon. Uh, a surprise party for me? Why, Bill? <laughs> Oh, I, I think I hear someone. Janet, perhaps you better answer the door. There's no one at the door, Harry. Golly, Mom, the way Daddy's acting, they're sure to know. Well, if you'd seen the way he acted before, you'd know why I had to tell him. A surprise party for me? Oh, Bill. <laughs> This way, I'll do it. I hear someone coming. Harry, relax. They'll be here. Golly, Daddy, take it easy. Perhaps I better stand, huh? Hmm? Oh, well, maybe I ought to lie down. <laughs> Well, I, I guess I'll just sit here and act natural. Surprise party for me? Oh, you should. Where is everybody? Party's been called off, Mr. Archer. Happy surprise party. <laughs> Some party. It's about as gay as a convention of hay fever sufferers held in a field of goldenrods four days after the end of the world. Don't feel so bad, Harry. I guess I had it coming. I acted like an idiot. I had to be so smart. I don't deserve any friends. Oh, Harry. Well, that's true, Janet. I toyed with their affections. They came over here to make up, and what did I do? I insulted them. Let's face it. I've lost the best friends we ever had. We'll never see them again. And all my fault. All my fault. Surprise! <laughs> well, Dexter and I went over and explained everything. Now it's a real surprise party, eh, Mr. Archer? Yeah, happy surprise. A Harry. surprise party yeah. for me, old Bill, you old blue moon. <laughs> Mother home, I'd like to... Oh, I, I didn't know you had company. Welcome back, some other... No, come on in. Everybody's here. You've been through so much, you should have a chance to talk to them. All right, second chorus now. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good... Here's the boy I was telling you about. Can he talk to you now? Certainly. I represent the Biltwell Home Products Company, and we... Now, got... never mind. Whatever it is you're selling, I'll take one. Well, so will I. I'll take three. And I will, too. Oh, you, you don't mean it. 